and in order to be more adaptable to changing situations in the marketplace. Values-driven decisions. It's not for me to talk about morality, but when you're asked to pay under the table to a customs person because you need to get your products out, would you do it? You know, when I went to graduate school, that question was asked. And many of the people in the room, and they were already senior executives, said yes, they would. Which was very sad. Because the professor apparently asked the same question from undergraduate students. And the undergraduate students said, no, we would never do So the idealism was there. When you get into business and realism sinks in, and you say, what the hell? I mean, I'm going to pay off. I tell you what, and I say even about morality, the moment you start doing that, there will be no end to it. Because it starts small, and they know you can be corrupted, then it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And at the end of the day, you're the loser. So I think living with our values, sticking to them, very, very important is prior relationships. And once again, I talk about people. That's not Back to my last slide. What do I look for when I'm looking for a supply chain executive? Actually, it's not different from what I look for in a senior executives of company. But for a supply chain person, integrity for me is paramount. Because you're dealing with so many temptations out there. And if you have to build trust, and if people need to trust you, you have to have integrity. You have to have strong ethical standards and live them. You have to value people and be able to nurture relationships. Because right now, there's just a lot of relationships, and you need to build trust. You have to be courageous, decisive, proactive, resourceful, action and resource oriented. Things are happening so fast. A holistic thinker. One who can zoom in and look at the details, and there's lots of details in supply chain, but at the same time be able to zoom out and look at the problem from 50,000 feet and connect the dots and look at the world, not just the narrow confines, but the broaden, broaden the up. Intellectual curiosity. Folks wondering what's going to happen next. Why is this happening? Asking why, why, when, and why not. Again, okay, because you are faced with so much heavy, because there's so much uncertainty, there's so many risks, and you need to be ahead of the curve all the time. Resilient and open to change goes without saying in a fast changing world, and a strong sense of purpose. That sense of purpose could be for yourself, could be for your teams, could be for your company. But you've got to have a strong sense of purpose and live it. Of course, it goes without saying that you have to have the technical know how to finance, exciting, and the people that you want to take a look at all the things that supply chain professionals ought to have. This is my wish list. I have I am a human resource committee of one of my boards. And we're looking for a supply chain head, global sourcing. And I put this together to be used as the criteria in terms of characteristics for a person that we need to hire. I congratulate you, your organization, for creating visibility for the supply chain function. And for raising the bar, raising the standards to the various training programs that you offer, the certifications, the activities, the social responsibility programs, which is passed. Keep it up. The world needs you. And it is my hope that someday there will be more of you leading global chain organizations in many parts of the world. Thank you.
wants to go first? I don't fight. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mercy, for the wonderful and inspirational talk. You just have to listen to her because she knows what she's talking about. Coming from managing global companies that produces two of the most important things in life, jeans and coffee. <laughs> so you just got to listen. Thank you very much. Okay, so we will now proceed to the introduction of the new members to be presented by Mr. Carlos Manila, GISM Trustee for Membership Affairs. As I call the names of the different representatives, uh, please come forward. Uh, from the San Juan Incorporated, call on Mr. Linian Santos, who is the Central Procurement Manager. From Needed Motor Philippines Corporation, uh, Mr. Mervyn Patricia, who is the Supply Chain Manager. From uh, the Covenant Car Company, Mr. Francisco Benigno, Senior Supervisor for Procurement. From USEG Logistics Philippines Incorporated, may we call on Ms. Olivia Medina, the General Manager of USEG Logistics Center, and also Mr. Danny Kalani, who is the Assistant General Manager contract logistics. And uh, our new individual members, uh, Mr. Francisco Calano, who is the Senior Manager, IP Operations Department. Uh, to induct the new members, may we call on Ms. Maria Mercedes Canaras. as corporate member of the Philippine Institute of Supply Management. Do solemnly swear to abide by and uphold the bylaws of this organization. To keep faith in and cooperate in the achievement of these objectives. To upgrade the supply management profession. To foster close and friendly relations among members of the profession. To perform my duties to the best of my ability. Without fear or favor. To conduct myself in a manner befitting a good business executive. So as to bring honor and prestige to the organization, and that I take this pledge as an invitation and challenge 
to do my best at all times. So help me God. I'll be the to the members to stay on the stage, please. Again, thank you very much, Mercy. Now, may we call on the uh, BOE officers to attach the PISM pins to our new members. They'll give you discounts in a lot of places. Secretary for our Corporate Secretary for our Board of Trustees. 